Understanding the phrase, scarred landscape. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of English phrases, specifically the term, scarred landscape. This phrase is not only vivid in its imagery but also rich in meaning, and understanding it can greatly enhance your English language skills. So, let's explore what, scarred landscape, means and how you can use it effectively in your conversations and writing. The phrase, scarred landscape, is made up of two key parts, scarred, and, landscape. Let's look at each of these words individually. Scarred. This term originates from the word, scar, which refers to a mark left on the skin after a wound or injury has healed. Metaphorically, scarred, describes something that has been permanently affected or damaged, often in a way that is visible or noticeable. Landscape. In its most general sense, landscape refers to the visible features of an area of land, including its physical elements like mountains, hills, water bodies, and vegetation, as well as its human elements like buildings and structures. When combined, scarred landscape suggests an area of land that has been permanently changed or damaged, usually due to human activities or natural disasters. Understanding when and how to use the phrase, scarred landscape, is crucial. It is often used to describe a physical area, but it can also have metaphorical implications. Physical context. This phrase is commonly used to describe areas affected by events like deforestation, mining, wildfires, or urban development. For example, the mining operations left a scarred landscape with barren hills and polluted waterways. Metaphorical context. Metaphorically, it can describe situations or events that have left a lasting impact or change. For example, the war created a scarred landscape in the community with deep divisions and lingering mistrust. The phrase, scarred landscape, is not just about physical or metaphorical scars, it's also about the emotional and visual impact these scars leave. It evokes images of destruction, change, and sometimes, resilience. This phrase can stir emotions, create visual imagery, and provoke thought about the impact of human actions or natural events on our surroundings. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, scarred landscape, and its various nuances. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the images and emotions those words can convey. So, the next time you come across or use the phrase, scarred landscape, think about the deeper meanings and implications it carries. Thank you for watching, and keep exploring the beauty and depth of the English language.